Okay, continuing with volleyball rules. As we have mentioned before, there are many rules in a game and many ways to get a point or to break the rules. Although players know who receives the point after certain circumstances, there are many instances during a game that only a referee could see. So like many other sports, there are a minimum of two referees in a game of volleyball and officially there has to be five. When you're watching a game of volleyball, officials stop the game by whistling. And the only thing that indicates what happened is his or her hand signals. First, it shows who has received the point, and then the following signal indicates what was the penalty that the other team made or why such team received the point. Also, until the referee whistles, the player cannot start the point, he or she may not serve To recognize who is the first official in a volleyball game, take a look at the following game. The first referee is the official that stands on the referee stand, raised platform, positioned at the side of the court across from the team benches. His or her main job is to whistle when any violations of the rules happen. Also, the first official can give sanctions to players or coaches. There are also yellow cards and red cards in volleyball, but we will talk about that later. Let's look at the following game with its original audio so you can hear the whistle. Yuxted sending it over. Fry will come outside to Vogel. Yuxted able to dig it up. And wiped off the block there as Cole will. The second official down on your screen is concerned with matters such as keeping time, assisting the first referee in making calls, dealing with substitutions, and verbally communicating with team coaches. However, the first official can call anything the second official does not see. There are also the line referees that assist the first and second official to call the ball in, out, or touch. We talked about some basic rules, like the other team touching the net or hitting the ball more than three times and a double touch from one player, touching the line when serving or invasion of the three meter line or an illegal hit, also when the other team did not rotate well enough. Now, you know that these actions stop the game and a point is awarded to a certain team, but what was the hand signal of the referee when this happened? Let's go over the hand signals. First, illegal rotation, when players are not in the position they're supposed to be before the serve. Remember, first the hand goes to who got the point and then why. Illegal hit, carrying or holding the ball. Touch the net. The ball was in. Illegal attack. Four touches. Double touch. However, there are some extra rules that are also important for you to know. The rule of reaching, for example, a player must hit the ball and play the ball in his or her own side, otherwise it's called reaching or interference. Let's look at some examples. The rule is quite simple. You must hit the ball on your own side, and you should not interfere with a player from the other side, otherwise it's illegal. When a team wants to substitute a player, this is the hand signal. When a point needs to be replayed, this is my favorite, thumbs up, and the teams have to replay the point. If the block touches the ball and the team cannot rescue it, it is called a touch, and it is a signal like this. Let's go back to what we mentioned at the beginning. To control the game, the referees can sanction players. Every team has a captain, and the only player that can talk to a referee is the captain, and this has to happen in a respectful way. After a warning, a player may get a yellow card. If he or she is shouting at officials, coaching staff, spectators, or opponents, yellow cards, when shown, act as a warning. No penalty is incurred when a yellow card is shown. 
Red cards, when shown, indicate a sanction or penalty. In volleyball, the team of the offending player will lose the point and, if applicable, the serve. Normally, a player is shown a red card after consistently repeating offenses, using profanity towards officials, players, coaches, and spectators. However, they are allowed to continue playing. They are not expelled after a red card. Sometimes, frustration can take a player to another level. An official may feel it is necessary for players or coaches to be expelled from the game for a period of time or the entire match if required. If a referee issues a sanction in which they're holding both a red and yellow card jointly in one hand, then the player of coach who receives this must leave the playing area for the remainder of the set. It is simple to understand how to get a point in volleyball, but maybe the language that represents such moments is not that simple.